beautiful human beings. Welcome back to another episode. I am so excited about today's episode because I have been dreaming about making this episode for I don't know how long now and it just has to do with fall decorations. So if you're not excited, I don't know what you're doing here because this episode is going to be purely about fall decorations, what you can do to make your house feel cozy this season, cozy and smell nice and just look absolutely beautiful. Um, at least I think that's what the house looks like right right now so i'll show you guys what my house looks like but these are a few things that i always put out every single year i always get complimented on it and everybody's like oh my god your house looks so cute i love these decorations so i figured i would share it with you and hopefully this fall season you can have beautiful beautiful decorations and get complimented on your home so that is the goal with this video let's cue the intro and begin get started I should mention a couple of things because I know some of you beautiful people out here are gonna be like oh my god I don't have the money I can't afford that how do I even make this happen like trust me I got you relax step one you do not need to spend all of your money on decorations for your house if you are starting off with no decorations I would just get bigger decorations if that makes sense but if you have decorations from the past year this is going to be so much easier because you can kind of incorporate last year's decorations with this year's if you need to buy a couple of more you can mix and match but you do not need to spend all of your money so that was tip number one tip number two is you should be having fun with this if this is stressing you out calm down relax drink some apple cider because it's fall season and just relax okay it's fun and then i don't know what the third tip is i was just going at the top of my head so let's just <clears throat> let's not waste any more time and begin all right so step number one is definitely have some type of door decoration decoration in front of your house i live in an apartment building so i can't have anything on the floor or whatever we can only have mats so we have a fall theme mat and then we have a very cute wreath i made this wreath um it literally maybe was like 15 bucks but i bought an empty wreath and then at places like marshall's and hobby lobby you can just find a bunch of things to throw in there and some things are hot glued some things are just tied up to the actual wreath but I made one like this for fall and I made one like this for I believe Halloween and for Christmas now that I've already shown you the wreath on the door now we go into wall decorations now the wall decoration that I have this one says count your blessings this one says eat pie and give thanks and then the one over there says fall breeze autumn something I don't know what it says but it's up there and then I always put like little fall candles this one says pumpkin thyme, citrus and ginger. Ah, I don't even know if that's a fall smell, but that's okay. And then we come over here and then I always have little pumpkins on the table because they're just so cute. This one's cute. And then look at this one, this one, look at, look at this one. <laughs> Sweater weather. I mean, come on, come on. It's not because we're in Miami, but who cares? You still need to have some sweater weather in your house. And then in the corner over here, I have one of those cinnamon, brooms just fan yourself with it because you know it smells delicious so next i would say is the countertop now the countertop for me is very important because it's one of the things that anybody will see when they come straight into my house like look you guys are at my front door and literally you open the door and you see my countertop and then you see the tv and the cute little pumpkins so i always focus on the main part of my house whenever you come in whatever your eyes can see has to be decorated that's my rule of thumb I don't know if that works for you but since you guys come in through here i have the very cute countertop i have a real pumpkin because hello you gotta have a real pumpkin don't be telling me that you don't have a real pumpkin in your neighborhood because i might have to go over there and hit you with my real pumpkin because you know that's a lie two dollars trader joe's publix albertson's if you're in the west coast you know you have different stores that you can buy pumpkins at so real pumpkin then you go into a fall scented candle this one is pumpkin pecan waffles it smells delicious and this one is from bath and body works bath and body works i always get confused between that one and bed bath and beyond so whatever and then i have a fake little pumpkin i mean i mean come on isn't it cute super because you know pumpkins in this house during this time of the year i don't even need to explain it pumpkins and then what else oh hold on 
Another cute little, de cute little, 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 little decoration. I can't even speak because I'm so excited. I don't know where I bought this car. I think I got this car like at Hobby Lobby, but let me see if I can get you guys good lighting. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? It's like the cutest little thing. Anyway, I get this up here and I get it next to my tart burner and then it just looks cute all together. So that is the countertop. Super, super cute. You got the little witch broom in the corner. And then also I put this here just because I think it's super cute. It says how sweet it is to be loved by you because love is in the air in this house at all times of the year. So that's what is always there. And then let's get into the decoration on this side of the house. Give me a second. I had to switch arms guys because I am not ripped and my arms were shaking. So anyway, now we're going to go into the decorations that I have here throughout the floor. And this is literally what it looks like from far. But I have here the cutest little ghost person man thing. I don't know what this is, but he's super cute and I use him for Halloween. <gasps> Damn it. Damn it. Anyway, I use him for Halloween. And I normally stick candies in his head, but right now that is what he looks like. And then I have a little cute little pumpkin. Then we go over here. And I have this cute little corgi pot, which obviously now that I'm moving things, it's, everything's gonna start moving because I'm touching things. <laughs> Wonderful. But yes, I have my little cute corgi pot. And then I have this little wreath that literally it just unwinds. I have another cute pumpkin, another scented candle, another pumpkin. And then I have this cute little scarecrow because it's just cute. And then these decorations are always out throughout the year but I always leave them in uh, for all the holidays and just year round so I just put a candle in them and then yeah and then it says you had me at Merlot super cute and then we come over here I'm literally I hope you know for this video I am on my knees because that is my life right now so <laughs> I'm out of breath give me a second did you guys just see my random ass jeans I was trying not to show you my random broken jean but there it is <laughs> There it is. Hold on. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Okay. Now we go into autumn skies and pumpkin pies. Look how cute these decorations are. Got a little pumpkin. Got a couple of things over here. Yes, ignore the dollar on my money tree. My money tree, she's dying on me, but I just, we're going to keep the dollar in there for faith. You know, we have to have faith. And now we go to the table. The table, I literally made this in like five minutes and I swear it's the easiest thing. I just got another little pumpkin decoration. I put another one of these on the side, threw it in there. This is one of those little witch brooms that you can just, oh crap, witch brooms that you can just throw in here. Little acorns, whatever. Um, this is real lavender. And then I had put like pine cones and leaves in there just to kind of make something weird. Normally, I don't have all of this in there. Normally I have a candle. I just haven't had the time to buy a candle. So normally like all of these pine cones and leaves and all that stuff will be like around the house. I'll put them there. I'll put, I'll put them on the tables. I'll put them everywhere. But for the time being, I made this concoction because hello, fall has started and you need to have your table decorated. Hello. So yeah, then I have this little grateful thing. Here it is. Um, and this literally, guys, is just a bunch of little leaves that I threw on here. Um, it's a white plate with like this little gold thing. I use this gold thing for Christmas as well and Thanksgiving. So you can kind of repurpose and reuse. And that is what the table looks like. So I showed you all the decorations in the house as of now. I still have to go through storage. Oh, wait, I forgot one because now we have to walk towards the door like we're leaving. Hello. We always have these cute little things by the door because when you come in and you hear the, it's just, it just makes my heart happy. I don't know about you, but that's what we have. So main key points to take away from this, I would suggest is number one, make sure you have something on the front door, please. It's just inviting and makes your door look decorated and it's just, a nice invitation into your home. Number two would be all of these little text decorations. Uh, like I said, you can get them absolutely anywhere. They're very light, they're easy to store. Um, but you see, cute things like this, you can use them year round and we always change them out. So for Halloween and Christmas and November, I'll change them up depending on whatever theme I'm going for. And then I didn't mention this, but I should mention it now. Something on your sofa. I do not have my pillows out because they are in storage still. So I'm working on that. But my mom just got me the cutest little blanket. So it's an orange blanket. It goes with it. And then eventually the two pillows will go on the sofa. And then this area will be complete. 
pumpkins. You have to have pumpkins. I would highly recommend having pumpkins in your house. It is such an easy decoration. If you actually like eating pumpkin, pumpkin pie, putting pumpkin in your beans, because some Cubans do that, I'm one of those people that do that, then buy pumpkins and then eventually you can eat them and you don't throw it away, you just eat the pumpkin. And then next would be these little, whatever, I don't know what it's called, I don't know what it's called. This thing, it's like a wrap around thing, whatever. Um, you know what I'm saying, you know what the name of it is, I can't come up with it right now. So. I would have those, I would have little decorations. Like I said, my little ghost man, he comes out for the holidays and he stays out until Christmas. Um, and then we just have pumpkins, more pumpkins, candles, 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 candles. I'm, I'm thinking about making a candle video for you guys so you guys can understand my love for candles because it's real. It's real, it really is. Um, so yeah, I always have candles on. And then of course, something on the dinner table so that your house just looks complete. And then I forgot over here to mention that I always have like things like this, things that say gather. They're really cute. I think they're worth having and you can hang them out around your house. <gasps> and I didn't mention having like orange and white and fall like um, hand cloths. That's really important, so I always do that. And eventually we'll change this out for something fall-like or season-y. But yeah, we always have color color schemed um, hand cloths and I think that's it. I hope you guys like the decorations, I really do. If you don't, I don't care, I do. And hold up, give me a second. My house smells so good right now. You just don't understand how wonderful. It just smells like fall. Okay, don't get emotional, Andrea. It's way too early in the morning. I just, my heart just feels happy during this time of the year. It feels happy normally throughout the year, but it's just, it's just a different type of happiness. So the fact that my house smells like pumpkin, it just, people like me will get me. People who are not like me are gonna be like, this girl's a freak. But the people out here that understand the decoration phase, <laughs> I love you guys, I really do. Um, and that is it. Honestly, if this video <laughs> brought you any entertainment, any value, if you got any ideas, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. Any support, like I always say, is greatly welcomed and greatly appreciated. And that is it for today. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please let me know in the description below. I will try to come up with more videos about decorating. Maybe I'll do a video about how to make a very easy centerpiece table. Um, ooh, I might just do that for you guys. But yeah, I will be sending you guys uh, lots of love this week. I hope you have a beautiful week, whatever day of the week it is that you're watching this. And thank you so, so much for watching this. And I will see you on the next video.